there be a, a limit on freedom of expression, especially on social media? And what you just watched is that um, the, we went on the streets and we got the opinions of others. And some said yes, some said no. So what's your own opinion? So guys, yeah. what's your own opinion? <laughs> well, that's what, that's <laughs> what we are still That's what we are still that's celebrating. We are sti uh, but yes. uh, we are opening our phone lines. Yes, we are opening our phone lines. So it's 815 so I'm sure it's on your screen right now. So start calling us. Let's hear okay. your opinion. I was talking about celebrities earlier. Yeah, mm -hmm. celebrities are some of those who actually thrive with this. You just suddenly see from nowhere. They will just uh, you just hear that um, maybe hey, who is who celebrity is not is not trending now. You don't hear just that. like how Cynthia Morgan disappeared for yes, over Cynthia how many Morgan. years? Mm -hmm. We asked him where is Cynthia Morgan? Morgan. She now came back with a different name. Okay. Wow. Yeah, that, that is a strategy. That's mm -hmm. her strategy. Mm -hmm. So now everybody now wants to go back to start reading, following up on her. She yeah, just yeah so find out where, where she has been, she what has been. been happening to her. Or sometimes even when especially she her name. Uh, <laughs> especially the celebrities now, like me, like you know, like me now, I'm a celebrity. Of course, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like uh, you, uh, like thank you, you very much. <laughs> and uh, uh, and, and the uh, air. Uh, let's know if we, maybe I've been I've been underground for some time and I want to make a comeback. Yeah. I'll just go and meet Aya, Pip Alpha. Moku do one small yes. fight or Moku show say we are they in love and boom it's on social media uh -huh. and before yeah. you know I'm having so many followers traffic and on your uh, page, traffic on my page and the uh, air too is having her own but at the end of the, the day it's all prank drama. Yeah, it's all it's drama all prank there is nothing actually happening between them yeah they just mm -hmm. want to create that traffic and uh, you know there was a guy that committed suicide some two weeks back or three I think so in Lagos the third the Third Bridge. I think he has been having so many issues and I think he has been dropping some hints on, on wow, social media, yeah. but I guess people never really bothered. So until the last one he dropped to say that um, it is over and not thanking everyone or begging or whatever, he dropped something, I can't remember, it was really, some blogs carried it. So uh, it was uh, one of the blogs now, now started a trend to say, someone should check up on this guy, oh, this post that okay. he dropped, who knows him, mm. we started trending everywhere. So I guess before then, the guy had done the third mainland branch drama mm. and boom, that was it. So these are, so I don't know, we should, maybe we should be a little careful. Is, could that be part of the reason why uh, the National Assembly were proposing that um, uh, protection of internet falsehood bill, mm -hmm. the one where they wanted to regulate? Yeah, so there were tens of thousands of people who actually came out to say no, no you cannot regulate us this is the only platform we have to actually express ourselves we can you know and all that so what? well if other bodies have some kind of regulation why shouldn't social media i have think if you ask me they should be TV, radio, how can have social media kind? have a regulation because it's just there once i can get an internet it's not like i don't know so no, is it the, the ntc I, I, that no, I, I think the regulation now has to come in partnership with the providers of this, yes. uh, this, this app, like this platform. Like Facebook, like Facebook, Twitter. Like, yeah, exactly. You know, Instagram, there are some things you can't post. Uh, hey, like something. what they or did to the last uh, yes. US yes. president. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Once you post it, boom, they, they, they take it they off. That should be, that, that's the only way I think social yeah, no, media but in, can in, be in this regulated. case, is the Nigerian government that is going to now actually approach that those, those app providers. Um, information and data to know what it's I'm about doing or so how they yeah, go about it's, it. Yeah, it's going to be, so would they... How will they get to do that? Because are they going to have access to everything I do, or we no, monitor you all the time? No, but of course the the, 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 the the these platforms, this Twitter, Facebook, WhatsApp, and all that, the the, the, the service or app providers have all our data. Mm -hmm. Everybody that is using whatever you post, they see. They see it. Okay. So the partnership now has to come with the from the government yeah. with these people. Okay, now to, it's, to, it's going to, to be a little to dicey to because now what do we call? There's a thin line between hate speech or fake news and freedom of speech and free speech and yeah, I may be a fi and, I might be fighting freedom, expression freedom of expression. expression. Mm -hmm. I might be fighting a, a just cause. I mean, I but it may not be. This person may not like it. Maybe the government in this instance, for instance, mm -hmm. so they may try to like call it a hate speech. Whereas to Facebook and the other social media, it's just it's a regular it. speech. So it's all. It's it's crazy in, in China. Like I was trying to say, China don't use our regular social media like we do here. Yes. So theirs is so regulated that everything you post, 
they see what you post. Censored. It's it's censored. Very yeah. much censored, but I don't think we want that here. Yeah, you know, the, people, uh, in, in, this part, in this part of the world, people will not really want that because somebody is just sitting down with his, with his small phone and he has his little data. And uh, that's where I'm, I, I, I'm actually finding it very... Uh, I'm actually encouraging the fact that it should be regulated or there should be, a, should limit be a limit to it. Yeah. Because you just see one small boy somewhere in one part of the world insulting an elder mm -hmm. for yeah. just one, one post that he has done or something mm. without really giving due a second respect, thought or yeah. due respect. Now, assuming if you have, that is your dad that did that and someone yeah. else out there is making such comments. Oh, let's not also forget that this same media platform we're talking about has, has opened has actually ways has opened ways. a lot of people. Yes. 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 People even mm -hmm. met their husband on social media. Yes, people's business have grown <laughs> through social yes. media. Yes. You can now yes. sell. People don't need to uh, like have a, 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 a shop or anything. You can just go and advertise your things on mm -hmm. social media and you put your number, the people call you and then you supply. Yes, people. and you supply. Yeah. Yeah. Livelihood has been Definitely made Definitely there are some good aspects to yeah. Oh, so video. well, let, let's hope um, we have our phone, uh, your calls coming in. Remember the number is zero eight one five nine four one zero seven five zero. And I have some of your messages already on our Instagram page. You can also drop a message or two for us there. And um, pretty blessing thirty four says no. If you put limit on social media, then the youth will be silent from expressing their opinion on politics on social media well yeah so that's what i was trying to say there is a thin line yeah, so they thin will, line between yeah they cannot really expression. actually express ourselves as much as possible so it's pretty kind of dicey and if we don't so of course it's going to be a free for all platform for you to do whatever you like mm -hmm. and a free market okay um someone else hotty official says for me no and the reason is if you look at what people gain on social media is more than the harm caused by the same social media. Mm. Yeah. Well, is it really? It is that's all we're trying to highlight here. We're uh -huh. highlighting the good part of social media and also the bad side of it. So the, the yeah, whole thing is just to weigh it. Yeah, the whole thing is just... Is, is and see which one, you know. It's to weigh it and see which one is actually succeeding. But from which what one we've is. seen so far, which do you think is more? Is it the good side or the bad side? Uh... I would say I would say the 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 bad side is more it's more you know because there are so many things that are fake that 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 trends on social media that causes a lot of stay in the in the in the in the, in the policy you get like uh, let me not go back to <laughs> let me not mention World War the the last incident that happened that shook the the country there are so many lies that went around and made so many uh, people had to even start coming out to refute their own deaths that people were tell, telling the whole world that mm. they've been killed or they are dead. You, mm. you understand? But at the same time, well, there are people that have, <laughs> that have achieved know, a lot through the same social media Yeah, also. and there are many more besides the lies and all that stuff. There are things like obscene things that people post on social media. We remember that yes. our children are also there. There are violence <coughs> and there are much mm -hmm. more. Let's talk about it when we get back from the kitchen. All right, it's time for <laughs> us to go to the kitchen. Let's go and weep and grill. That means let's go and cook and consume. Well, those who consume actually tell us how it tasted. At this time, our chef, Chin, our chef is actually preparing for us <laughs> potato curry. I just like, I don't know why, I just like calling her Chinye Noom. Yes, well, she's our chef and uh, she's preparing for us putting. Welcome to Whip and Grill. My name is Chainum, and today I'll be showing you how to make this very simple goat meat and uh, potato curry. It's very simple to make. It's really good for dinner because it's light, and you can have it with rice, or you can have it by itself, or you can have it with bread. So to make this uh, potato and goat meat curry, you're going to need vegetable oil. You're going to need some onions. You're going to need tomatoes, your goat meat, some carrots, Irish potatoes green beans, your curry masala powder, some salt, some chili powder, 
and some seasoning cube. You're also going to need uh, plain flour and some water. So to get started, I'm just going to pop, um, put on my gas. Now you can use any other type of oil if you like. You can use olive oil or you can use some coconut oil. So I'm just going to wait for my oil to get heated up. And now my oil is heated up, I'm just going to add in my onions. And I'm going to allow this to cook for about a minute until fragrant. And basically with this, we are just trying to build the flavors with the different vegetables. And that's actually the beauty of this curry. So I think my onions look good. So what I'm going to do now is to add in the carrots. And I'm adding in the carrots first because obviously carrots are a lot tougher to cook. So I would like this to cook for a while with the onions until it's fragrant as well too. And actually smells really good actually. So now I've got this um, cooked for like about a minute or two. Um, just keep an eye on it and just keep stirring. You saw sort of like doing like a mini stir fry with this. So just keep going. And once you can see your onions, they're a bit translucent, you want to begin to add in the rest of the ingredients. So I've got my tomatoes here. I've also got my goat meat in as well too. And I think it's a very good idea to do this on like medium heat so that your curry doesn't get burned as well too. And I'm also going to just pop in my potatoes. Now I'm using potato and goat meat because I just think it tastes so good. It's really, it tastes really, really good together. Um, you could use sweet potato for this, but I kind of think it sort of changes the flavor a little bit. Um, so that's something you need to bear in mind. Um, Irish potato is very mellow. It um, allows all the flavors to get through it. And goat meat just has this very unique uh, taste as well too that I think a lot of people just don't explore. Uh, most people just prefer beef, to be honest. But I like goat meat, and it goes very well with this curry. It's just a very, very mellow uh, flavor that pairs very well with Irish potatoes. Um, you can also use yam. I'm not very sure about yam, to be honest, because yam is just a very different texture on its own. Um, so I've got everything in my pot, and it's now time to put in our seasoning. So I'm using curry masala powder because it's got really, really, really good blend of flavor. Now, not all curry masala powders taste the same, so you will need to check with your brand and see. And I'm also adding in some seasoning cubes as well too with this. We've got our salt to taste. And I really like this uh, curry with some chili powder. The chili powder just gives it a bit of a kick. You can take it out if you're not very, if you're not a huge fan of chili powder, but I really like using my chili powder with this because it just gives it a really, really wonderful kick um, that just brings all the flavors together. And right now it actually smells really, really good because of the curry. So I'm just going to stir gently. And that's why I really love this, because it's really simple to put together. You only need just one pot, and you're literally just putting everything together. So now I've got everything uh, for this. I'm going to add in about two cups of water. That's about 500 ml of water. If you can't use a measuring cup, what you can do is you can add the water until it's about the same level as the, all the ingredients. That's enough water to make the curry. If you add too much water, it'd be too watery and um, you wouldn't really have that um, curry consistency. So I find two cups of water and maybe a half is always good. So you can see it's about the same level and that's pretty much what you want uh, your water to be like. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just cover uh, my pot and let this cook until all the vegetables are tender and we can continue with our meal. Okay, so our curry is looking really good now. Um, I'm just going to give it a quick stir. And we've been cooking this for about, say, 10, 15 minutes. And you just want to make sure your, your meat, your carrots, and your potatoes are tender. And that's pretty much when this part of the cooking is done. So this is 
done now and we're going to go into the next part of the meal which is to now actually make the curry with the flour and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take about two tablespoons of plain flour and add it into about five to six tablespoons of water and I'm going to make a very thick paste with that and what this is going to do is it's going to be added to our curry and it's going to make it thicker so that you can use it as you use a curry because if I leave it this way what's going to happen is going to be too watery you're kind of looking for semi thick almost like the consistency of say very liquid pap that's what you're looking for and what we're going to do now is just going to add it into our curry So now our curry has been thickened, what we're going to do is we are going to add in the last ingredient, which is the green beans. And the reason why I'm adding this last is because I don't want it to overcook. So what I just need to do is just to add it into our curry and let it steam on the lowest flame for about two to three minutes and our curry should be ready. And now my curry is done, it's now time for me to serve. So. You can have this on its own, or you can have this with some boiled rice or boiled brown rice, or you can have it with naan bread, or you can also have it with like toast bread if you want something heavier. Um, it's good for dinner, but you can also have it for lunch, and it's a very good meal for meal prep as well. Too. So it's very good to freeze or very good to put, pop in the freeze um, in the fridge for weekday planning. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this program, and join us again next week for another episode. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.